previously on the official Urban Therapist. So I I like to uh, revisit this this term pro pro black again. Uh, what what does that mean to be pro pro black? I mean, to me, it's just somebody that's for their people. You know what I'm saying? It's just we just have, might have, they might have a different view on things to do for their people than others. You know what I'm saying? It's more of pro black, looks more of a selfish role of just buy black. You black, buy black. You know what I'm saying? Black this, black that, black. We support, we out here just, everybody support everybody. That's how you're supposed to get in, but pro black just look damaging to me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is no more. It must be one. So, so when, um, when, when you mentioned the, the term pro black, is that talking about colorism or that's a, that's a, that's the race ethnicity or, or what was that talking about? talking about um, just the people in general you know what I'm saying yes you want to put your people in be- in the best position like I said I'm stuck now I don't even know what it means no more. it's like <laughs> I, 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 threw, I, I threw it out the window it, it. <laughs> and that's what's unfortunate and I agree with you it's gotten watered down kind of like the Beatle and um, um, I don't need a movement to, for anyone, for me to know that my life matters. I, and I'm not saying to take anyone, you know, I, I understood what it began as. I'll say it as that. Uh, and as I, uh, I think it might have been you that mentioned uh, how the liberals or someone had mentioned how they had taken over. But you're correct. It's the two, basically the sides of uh, two sides of the same coin. And, and we have to, again, re-educate ourselves you know, our community about how I think 1854 or something around that time where there was a split between the two and they were party for all the, those one lump of people, white men really, who were controlling everything for two or three hundred years. And yet, I think it was 1854 or something like that recent that that's when it split up. That's not too far, you know, apart from here. Maybe 19, I think it's 1854, I'm not mistaken. But that's not too far from where we are right now that we have to be mindful of that. And we also, on that same note, we're always talking about this party or that party. Why not our own party? There has been history that has shown, even with the Whigs, I think Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt if I'm not mistaken, I, is a third party. They split that thing up so that they could get political power. Why is it that we're waiting on these Caucasian-dominated systems to allow us a place at the table where we have our own, that we can build our own table? They use our emotion. They, they, they use our emotion against us. When right. you think of, when you when you think about Huey and Malcolm and Malcolm and stuff. They'll take the big. They'll take the beginning process, or they'll take the angle from Huey and feed off of that, and not look at the programs that he was putting out and things like that. Or look when Malcolm made his switch and started thinking logically. You know what I'm saying? They don't use that part. They go back to when he was cutting up and they fuck that cracker and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Great they'll point. try to use that for the racism and shit. See here, here's um uh, where where I'm having a um issue with this. How is it possible for anyone to be pro-black and to be a conservative? It, to my understanding, uh, being a conservative, it don't have to have nothing to do with colorism. Is that correct? It's for the overall unification of, of the country. Is that correct? Is that the whole goal of being a conservative? Yeah, religious or not religious, because you know the religion morals of this country is supposed to be Christian or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, we a lot of us threw that Bible away and shit. But when you look at how they painted this guy named Jesus, you know what I'm saying? They painted him perfect. What is wrong with you trying to at least live in that fucking light of being perfect? Not saying that you got to believe in him, but you know what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. Everybody has a conscience. You know what I'm saying? That is your God. So is 
it's like it's, it's all it comes down to morals you know what i'm saying I mean, who want who want, want great morals around them, especially for their country or their neighborhoods, their states, and stuff like that? Yeah. So, so that that goes back to you know my my concern about this is that uh, this this based on my understanding about what what conservatives is, it's impossible for a person to be pro black and to be a conservative. It's impossible for a person to be on pro white or pro whatever it is and to be a conservative at the same time when. Uh, both of them two meanings uh, doesn't correlate with each other. Either have to be on one or the other. Yeah, and right now the reason, main can reason why I'm pro black, huh? I'm sorry. Can you explain that? Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at conservative is different, and I'm trying to understand the analogy of the the black and white. Can you? And I, I apologize again. I'm trying to learn. Yeah, um, that's that's based based on my understanding. Uh, that being a conservative is to me it's about unification of um, well we could say unification of uh, you know human period in this country. It doesn't matter about the uh, the color of your skin. It don't matter about your religious belief or affirmations, whatever it is. The whole point is that everybody is on coming together for one common goal, which is to uh, always strengthen and better you know the country. So. Gotcha. So that's why I was saying that um, if that be be the case with the with that meaning, then it's impossible for you to be pro black or pro white or pro Hispanic or whatever, and and claiming that you're a conservative at, at the same time, because they they don't correlate with each other, unless I'm I'm missing something. Gotcha. Thank you. So you so you're saying that they they can't be the same? Yeah, absolutely. Or they, or they, or they can't coexist? Yeah, they, absolutely. They can't coexist because they they don't agree. Um, it's impossible for for two people with um, the exact opposite belief system to walk together. 